Chris Guthrie here uh, for Azon theme, and I'm going to show a brief walkthrough of the various settings and uh, customizations that you can use for this WordPress theme. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the theme. Uh, after you've downloaded it, just go into the theme section, activate the theme, and after it's activated, you'll be presented with uh, these various sections here. These are all different spots that you can um, edit and then there's a little bit of documentation in case this video um, doesn't help us w help enough for you. Let's look at the uh, customizations though. Or let's just look at the regular site. So this is what it is after it's just installed. Alright, so as you can tell it just looks like a basic WordPress theme. If you want to keep it like this, you can. You know, you can edit it with the other customizations, but you can also um, give it a different look by turning on this featured area. When you do that, now you've got this section here. This is where um, you can put posts that will show up. So let me show an example. To do this, you just add featured as the tag. And as and, and these posts here that have featured will show up in both the fe featured rotating section and uh, down beneath it as well. So, all right. So here you can see uh, there's an image, an empty image spot. This would normally be rotating as soon as you have more than uh, just one. It'll rotate automatically. So let me show you what we can do as well. Now you can add a picture. The USB humping dog is a classic, so we'll use that one. Alright, so we added the USB humping dog to the HTML. But we can also set this image, or any other image for that matter, as a featured image and that means that when you go back to this home page refresh you'll see the dog now the other thing you can do with the post is you can put in an affiliate link I already grabbed the link um, from Amazon to this. It doesn't have the affiliate ID in there, but it's just an example so you can see. Update that. Now when we refresh the home page, the dog actually becomes the affiliate link. Um, there's actually to a setting where you'll have a buy now button which will display beneath that as well. And you use that just to help increase in conversions. Another setting you can change is uh, a top add area. So if you click it, uh, if you click the post, you'll see this is this is just the basic spot. If you turn it on, you'll have this new little section here. This is where you can actually put something in the in a widget, uh, an add spot. You can also turn on icons to share the post so you can see here you've got options to share the post with social networks and I also turn it on so you can share put that in the bottom as well the related posts here are automatically pulled in they're not um, that's not a plugin Alright, so let me show you the navigation option. So here, um, right now, it's just category, but you can also do pages. And again, this is just the nice thing about this is that this theme is updated for WordPress 3.0, so you can take advantage of their menu system. Here, this is just the pages. But if you want to use uh, custom navigation, that's what I prefer to do. You just update the settings. 
go to the menus page. I've already added a menu. You just simply click the add menu button. Then you, from the drop down menu, select that. And now here you've got um, five different links. Go back to the home page, refresh, and now we've got all these links right along here. So this is really easy to be able to just add different types of pages manually um, without even having to go into the theme uh, code and change it yourself. Another thing you can do too is you can make them be a drop down menu as well. So if you had different reviews, you could do that easily. Now they're drop down spots. Alright, so the other thing you can customize now is this little widget spot here and also right in here. Um, what I use for the section next to the, next to the featured area is usually a opt-in spot. So this is where you put in your list uh, code. I already have code. Um, you can actually pull sample code from the documentation page if you want to add it yourself if you wanted to add some in as well. Alright, as I refresh this here, see, now you can see it's already populated with the the code to get into like a newsletter. Now as I scroll down to the bottom you can see these two little dashes here in the about page. That's actually the tab section. That is this here. So you can put anything you want in these little tabs. Uh, so you could do recent posts in the first one, recent comments. There we go. Alright, so go back over to the theme settings page. And now you have a section to change the tab. So, recent comments, whatever. Refresh the page. And now you have this little tab section here that's nice. Uh, allows you to display a lot more content in a certain spot, and then people can sort through. I use it normally to display popular posts, recent posts, and then comments. This little section here is only for administrators. Uh, if you're logged out, you won't see this, but it's just an easy way once you go to the home page and you're logged in to just quickly get to your dashboard, edit your posts, and everything else you'd like to do. Likewise, if you update uh, different types of settings, or let's just see. Update the theme. So it'll auto automatically populate the Facebook icon along with the uh, URL. So those are the social links section here. Again, there's the documentation section that shows all the different things and how it works. In case you're, um, in case the video doesn't provide enough info color options. Here's where you can change we'll go with a really hideous color of red. Alright. Update these settings. Now you can see it's this is that little thick border that's updated and it updates all the all the text right there. You also can change the color of the tab as well if you'd like. Didn't show you last time because I had the same color but here you can see it'll highlight the the tab that's selected as well. Just another way to further customize the theme. Uh, so in addition to all those different settings, you can also do a lot of different stuff with 
uh, advertising as well, putting in your own advertising. So here's a single post ad area. This is only an ad that will display when you have the show single posts area on. Likewise, up the top, there's a header ad we can put up there. And I've already put together the code here just to make it easier for you to see. Main sidebar, this is another ad spot. Anything else you'd want to put here, though, you can. You can. So, like that spot right there, you could put a Facebook fan page widget. And sidebars, you could put skyscraper ads or just random types of text. Same thing with the footer, you can put anything you want down there. Alright, so after I refresh the page. Alright, so now I've got my ad up here in the upper right hand corner. This is the uh, ad on the right hand side. This is the um, main sidebar widget. Okay. And this is the ad in the single ad area. So, again, you know, if you. I found that it uh, helps make more money having this type of a setup with the ad here and then an image of whatever the post is about and then different icons for people to share. But if you don't want to do that and you want to just show the content, you can turn off the top ad area. These, This one will automatically not be displayed anyways, so here you can see. So as you can tell, it's, you know, really customizable everything that you can do with this theme one other thing I wanted to show you too before I wrap this up is the video option here you can um, take a YouTube code and put it in here you just need to make sure that the settings are like this so I actually have a sample video I can grab click the embed option Just copy that code, paste it here, and uh, YouTube displays the options in two sections of the code, so you just need to make sure that you update the pixels here. So, see, here, here you go. You can see now I've got a uh, video as well. So, again, this is everything you can do with the Azon theme, and you can order it just from azontheme.com.